This is a tribute to all those who report their surgery on the SIGN database. We appreciate your reports, especially when you report follow-up until the fracture has healed. All of these segments were put together because they are recurrent themes when I review the database. I hope the information here will be shared with all sign surgeons in your program who do sign surgery and we welcome feedback. The indications for fin nails have increased steadily throughout the sign family. At first, we designed the fin nail to be used in stable fractures, so the fin ended in the isthmus. Sign surgeons soon expanded the indications and they work very well. This is an example of an unstable fracture where the fin ends below the isthmus and it healed up very well. And the patient ended up with good knee motion. We like these views of squat and smile so we can learn about the clinical aspect of healing of fractures. The fin nail has been used in retrograde approach to the femur with good success. It's also been used very effectively in the humerus and we're still studying this. What is the junction where we need to move to a plate as opposed to a fin nail? We're noticing that fin nail are being used for more and more distal humerus fractures in many programs because they don't have plates and it's working. So we need to look at the anatomy of this and you can help us if we uh, follow all fractures until they're healed. Look at that crack in that uh, cortex of that fracture. You can see that it healed. You can look at the, the fin to determine it's very distal and then you can look at his good motion of his elbow uh, in a well healed fracture at seven months. We're very happy with the results of using the fin nail. The fin nail can be used in the tibia and the fin nail can be used for pediatric fractures when the canal is big enough. We're also finding that around the world canal sizes vary in children and therefore the fin nail can be used in more uh, children's fractures than we were aware of. We're still considering when the patient should bear weight in different fractures. We are also looking at placement of the sign nail in previously infected bone. This is a problem that occurs more frequently in developing countries. We're also looking at the influence of a delay between the injury to wound closure and nail insertion. We're also looking at new methods to prevent infections and in open fractures, and we invite your comments on these.